All right. So today, I just want to do a quick uh, look at the new release of the at ArcGIS core package. That is the ECMAScript modules for the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. There is a really cool uh, blog post that's out about it that you can look at to get a bit more details. Um, if you want to find more information right now on using those modules along with some samples and uh, some more detailed information, you can look on GitHub at the uh, Esri's Feedback JS API Next repo. There is a uh, readme in there for the ES modules that talks about them, how to install them and everything. Um, there's some samples. Uh, so there are samples if you are using uh, the Angular CLI, Create React App, Ember CLI, Vue CLI, Rollup, or just Webpack. So what today I want to do is I want to take a quick look at um, how you would use them in just a regular Webpack application, right? So I've got a very basic app already set up. Um, I haven't done anything yet, but I did install some modules. I haven't installed the API yet. I did install the uh, Webpack plugin, right? So now uh, if you install uh, uh, npm install ArcGIS Webpack plugin next, the next version of the plugin is going to support the new ArcGIS core, as well as the next version of the ArcGIS JS API package, which is still the AMD package. Um, some things are different now, and I'll talk about those in a second, in terms of uh, what you need to do for the build, right? So let me install the um, ArcGIS core in my project real quick. So if you look at the documentation here, um, the one of the main things that you need to do is there's an assets folder in the API that you need to copy over. That assets folder is gonna contain the workers, which is a big one, because up to this point, if you did a Webpack build using the Webpack plugin, you needed to uh, set a URL to point to the workers on the CDN because we couldn't get the, um, uh, the AMD and everything in the Dojo Webpack plugin to do the builds of the workers locally for you. It just didn't really work right. So now what we do is that we build the workers put them in this assets folder, you copy the assets folder to your deployed application, we'll just load them by default. Now you can change the path and the base URL, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Details I won't cover today. Um, if you, you know are putting your app in a, a different location than normal, like it's not the root of a website, maybe it's the uh, subfolder or something like that, you can, you can change all that stuff around. Um, but that's the cool part. But so you need to copy that over. Um, there's also uh, the CSS is in there, the SAS files, if you want to build your own SAS, all of the images, the translation files. So all the these JSON T9N files are in there to support all the different locales. The new Webpack plugin will go ahead and let you filter those out so you don't need to use, if you know you're not going to use all the locales for your app, then you don't need to deploy them with your application. It'll filter all that stuff out for you. If you want to, if not, you can just leave them in there. They'll never get used if... No, uh, people with the uh, language settings browsers never use them. So, okay, let's, uh, we installed the ArcGIS core. Uh, let me think about what I want to do here. Let's go ahead and let's look at the app. So, uh, look at the Webpack config, right? So this is a basic Webpack config. I am going to uh, have an entry for the CSS, the JavaScript file. Basic stuff here, you don't need to worry about that. Um, here, so the ArcGIS plugin, all I'm gonna define are the locales I wanna use. And that's it, right? This way it's only gonna load the uh, English locales. In my case, I could have it uh, load the ES as well. I know I wanna support uh, Spanish locales. Oops. All right, so, okay. Uh, but let's actually look at the app uh, right now because um, there's nothing in here. I think I've got my CSS. No, I don't have my CSS one. Okay, so let me I'm gonna cheat as a matter of fact CSS because I don't want to type, you know, I'm lazy by nature over here and it's late in the day. I'm tired. You guys feel me? You feel me. Okay, so... Okay, so there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and this syntax here, if you're unfamiliar with it, in um, when you're doing webpack builds, this little 
this little curly uh, brace over here is going to go ahead and load it from node modules so that the uh, Webpack build will pick that up and it'll go ahead and build the CSS for you and it'll bring all the assets in and do everything else it needs to do. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And it'll deploy it right to the root of your application when you build it and deploy it and everything. Right. So, okay, okay. All right, that's good. Let's do something now. So now what I want to do is I want to, let's say, uh, import ArcGIS map from, I can spell from, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm a horrible speller for some reason. I'm not a horrible speller. I'm a horrible typer. Let's get things straight, right? Okay, so let's import the uh, map view from ArcGIS core views. App view. Uh, I don't know of a layer to, to add right now. Right. So uh, let's go over here. Let's, let's steal a layer somewhere. I don't have a URL on hand. I don't have these things memorized. God. I hate it when it does this to me. You know, that happens to you guys when you come to the developer site. It, it like wants you to log in every now and then. I don't. Yeah, it's just the way it works. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Feature layer. I don't want that tree layer. There's like a tree layer that I always use. Highlight points. Now, labels to feature layer. I'm not going to do any labeling, but I really just want a layer. All right. I don't want a web map. Why can't I just find a layer? You know, basic query on a feature layer. There we go. Boom. I'm gonna copy that. Okay, okay. All right, all right, 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 right. So now I need my uh, feature layer from core layers feature layer. Okay. So layer. Blah, 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 I can't spell. Can't type. Okay, okay, so there's my layer. I'm gonna go ahead and create a map. New ArcGIS map. And I call it ArcGIS map, so it's not, I don't call it map, so there's no confusion with like the native JavaScript map, you know what I'm saying? You hear me. You guys feel me, right? All right. Oh, it is a gray vector, like that, right? Gray with me. Always mess that up. Okay, so we got that. And then uh, layers. Let's go ahead and add layer. Uh, so where is the center for this map? Just zoom to it. What the heck? Oh, hey, yeah, great bigger. I got it right. Look at that. Yeah, I got it right. Okay, I don't know. Um, how this map is centering here, but you know what? I bet it does like a go to. I'm not gonna do all that. So okay, let's just create a view. Look, guys, this is just a look at how to do things. I'm not building a full blown app for you at the moment. I just want to talk about how this kind of just works, right? So I create my map view. Uh, so pass it the map and my container. Maybe I call view div. Boom, boom. Ooh, it doesn't like some. Oh, Jeez, man. there we go. Nice. And my Vim doesn't like that. doing anything. So I forget I set these rules up in Vim. So the log, view ready. Now what? Okay, now I can build. God damn, people. Come on. Oh, cross your fingers. Now, let's look at the, the package JSON, right? So I have a, a build command that's going to run in production, production, um, or serve that we're in development mode. This is a wicked, uh, a nice machine. Let's see how long a build takes. 
Crossing your fingers, people? I'm crossing my fingers. Let's do this. Come on. Happen. Work. Work. JavaScript, am I right? Now, I don't think I need that moment locales plugin in here. I'm not using it. I could probably take that out. Uh, I'm not using npm run all either, I don't think. Uh, okay, here we go. So you get some warnings because, yeah, you know, some of the uh, files are going to be a little uh, bigger than uh, the Webpack kind of limits like stuff. But it's okay. No big deal. So now what I can do, npx serve dist. So I'll serve my dist directory. What is that? Localhost 5000. I was going to do 3001. Very boom. And boom. Because <laughs> I don't know where to zoom the map to. I, I couldn't figure it out. Uh, not my fault, man. Where is my. Okay, okay, okay. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. This is dumb. That's dumb that I didn't do that. So, okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, change this. Let's do layer dot when. Yeah. You know what I like about async? That I don't have to keep chaining everything anymore. I know people don't like async await sometimes, but you know what? I'm all over it, man. Don't worry about it. I got this. Uh, so now, uh, let's do a view dot. Uh, Extent is going to be equal to layer dot default extent. Not full extent, is it? Let's try full extent. I can do a go to here too, but yeah. And sometimes, depending on the uh, the layer and the, the way it was built, you may not do what I want to do. So, another build again. So, let's sit here and talk a little bit about. Uh, some stuff, right? And I'm doing the production builds every time I do this. That's why it takes a little longer. If it was a dev build, it really wouldn't take that long. Um, but yeah, like I said, if we look at... So let's come over here. It's telling you you need to use the Webpack plugin next. The documentation for that is over here. And uh, there's a branch on GitHub. You can look at the Webpack plugin and what it's actually doing. So if we look at what the Webpack plugin is doing, right? Um, this is like the core of the work that's happening here. So what it does is it um, maps out, it creates an array of the locales. Uh, it's going to create an ignore list for them. It's going to ignore all the SAS files. And then when it does a copy of the assets folder, it passes this glob options option to the copy Webpack plugin, which is something that you could take advantage of on your own without even using the Webpack plugin if you don't want to. And then it's going to go ahead and ignore the web scene spec folder because it's not really used at runtime. Um, it's used uh, uh, during the build. Well, it's, we use it in the app for other things, but it's not used at runtime for anything you're going to do. Um, you can ignore the SAS files, and you can ignore any of the locales that maybe you're not going to use in your app, right? Um, I will say this. If you know for sure you're only going to support a couple of locales, like you're only going to write your widgets to support them, then maybe, yeah, you can get away with this. Um, but you may not want to uh, not all the locales for your app because even if some of your stuff that you write doesn't support a locale our stuff will so people can at least use our widgets and, and get through the parts that we provide um, even if you're not supporting that locale fully in uh, parts of the code that you write right it's been a good neighbor good web developer guys you know there's no harm like I said you deploy a couple extra maybe an extra megabyte or so of a uh, files for greater benefit, right? Okay, let's try this again. Hey, there we go, that worked. All right, so, yeah, I was able to zoom to that. So yeah, everything works. So now if we look at the uh, network traffic, right? And let's just go ahead and look at J JavaScript. Brush this again, empty the cache. Boom, 736K, uh, gzip. That's why I use MPX serve, because serve will automatically gzip. Uh, your files for you. All right. Notice we're still loading a lot of chunks. Um, so it's not a big deal. All right. Not a problem. Uh, but 736K, that's impressive. And that's fast. 
there's also some things you can do if you don't need the map right away. You can do some other cool tricks like delay uh, loading the map. Maybe you only want uh, to load a couple of things in here, maybe a widget or something, and you can load the widget that's not going to interact with the map uh, until you do something. Then you load the map. And there's all kinds of really cool tricks you can do for dynamic loading and delaying the loading of the actual map itself to get that 736 initial transfer rate down even further, right? Um, but yeah, there you go. You can use ArcGIS Core, check out the, uh, the Webpack plugin, check out the blog post to talk about some of the details of it and everything, and go out and build some really awesome apps, guys. Thanks.